There. So, today I'm going to tell you a story about the goose and the horse. So the goose is waddling around the farm, and he comes across the horse. And he looks at the horse and says, you know, I'm so much better off than you. I can fly when I want to fly. I can swim in the pond and walk on the water. And I can also just walk around the grounds. Like, I can be everywhere. You're confined to this one spot on the ground. You can't fly. You can't swim. You can't do any of those things. And the horse looks at the goose and says, you know what? You're right. I'm only confined to this one area. But look at how regal I look. Look at how strong my limbs are. Look at how comfortable I am in my environment. You, on the other hand, when you fly, you're very clumsy looking. You're not graceful like a lark or a swallow. And you can only walk on the water, but you can't swim in it like the fish. And then when you waddle around, opening your mouth the way you do, everybody just kind of looks at you with derision. So who's better off? I may not have as many talents as you, but the one talent I have is a strength for me, and I use it well. So what's the moral of the story, right? We all have strengths. We all have weaknesses. We all have areas that we know we're good at, and we all have areas that we know we're not great at. And sometimes our ego gets in the way, and our self-confidence you know, wanes because of that. And we want to try to be good at so many things because we think it's bad to not be great at everything. But the truth of the matter is, if you recognize what your strengths are and you play to your strengths, that's when you're going to be the most successful. That's when you're going to be at your most powerful. And quite honestly, it takes vulnerability to recognize your weaknesses. And when you recognize your weaknesses, that's okay because you can align yourself with the people that can support you where those areas are weaknesses for you, right? They might be strengths for others. So it's the same thing, right? If you're a teen and you're going to school, right? And there's so many things that you have to worry about. I know I always talk about this with grades and, and whatnot. Some kids are great at math and English. Some kids are good at science and math. Some kids are good at English and social studies, right? Not, you're not going to be good at every subject. But at the end of the day, if you play to your strengths and you do really well in the subjects that you know you're good at, and you just put a little extra effort into the subjects that you struggle with, you'll probably turn out just fine, right? And what about just social groups, right? When you're, when you're hanging out with friends, you're trying to meet people. Sometimes, you know, certain groups are not going to be for you. You know, you just don't have the right personality for that group. That's okay, you know, so who cares? But you have other traits and other strengths that, you know, align with your personality that are going to align with other people that are going to like you for who you are because they can relate to your personality, right? If, if you had, if you try to relate to so many different people, right, and try to have so many different strengths so you can relate to all these people, you would really never have any consistency or really solid relationships, right? But if you work on the strengths that you have and align yourself with the people that can support those strengths and also support the weaknesses you have, right, you have a much better collection of people working together, helping together. So I'd much rather be around a group of friends who can support the areas that I'm not so great at and will utilize me for the areas that I am good at to help support them. That just makes for a much more cohesive and better communication and just better relationship in general, right? So don't be like the goose trying to be good at everything. Be like the horse. Be good at those things that you know you're good at and master them and use those skills to help others who aren't so strong. And it's okay to rely on other people to help you in the areas where you need support. That's what life's about. It's all about helping one another out and talking to other people and recognizing people for what they bring and what they struggle with and supporting one, each, supporting one another so you can help each other along. That is the story. That is the moral. I hope you have an awesome day.